Right. Okay, now we're recording again. And my guest is Donna, um, is Donna Taylor, and we're talking about her son, Mark Taylor, and the basic kidnapping, they kidnapped Mark Taylor and put him in a mental institution. You didn't take him in for any mental product, pro, uh, any problems. No. There was no mental no. problems, and there was no physical problems. He had already no. healed. When, he came, when you came through Arizona, I saw him, he looked fine to me. Right. But I had a period of time where he acted like he was having seizures, so I thought maybe it was either from the medication we did to him in Colorado, or it was from the methane gas leak that we sus uh, suspect that somebody did that to us. Um, we, um, uh, I definitely had a uh, gas leak in the house, and my brother became very ill, very sick. I almost lost my brother. And they almost kept him in Arizona, in the hospital there, saying he was crazy. But later we got it diagnosed that my brother wasn't crazy, and it was from the gas leak, and they found it in his blood. What do you know? Okay? Now, now, but I had to take him out of Arizona to California to find out the truth. Who could have done tell the truth in Arizona. Who could have done this in New Mexico? I met you in New Mexico. I didn't go to your mm -hmm. house or anything like that, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I met you in New Mexico. Who could have arranged a methane leak in your house? Where did I, and, and what the hell is methane Anybody doing? Anybody wants to get rid of him, just like I'd been warned right before we went to New Mexico that they were after us and they were going to kill my son. Just like the head doctor in Colorado Springs said to run and cry and hug me. She knows who they are. And of course it's in the medical field. Of course. Or she wouldn't have warned me, would she? And I have, I have proof of it. I had a friend with me that heard her say that. And that friend that made an affidavit and her notarized say she made that statement. So it's yeah. the thing I, I wasn't alone well, when that, she made that, that statement to me. That'll go good in the, in the lawsuit against these people. Yeah. And by the way, one, yeah, one, of my, sure one, one of my guests is, uh, Black Hills up in uh, up in uh, South Dakota, and we're talking about setting up Liberty Villages up there at uh, the Antlers at Bear Butte, that's just outside of Sturgis, just around the corner from the uh, Buffalo Chip Campground. We're talking about doing that, and he, uh, he says uh, to tell you uh, that if you want to move to South Dakota, he knows a doctor is an MD who would be uh, friendly to uh, truly help Mark. So. Well, I'd have to pass that to, um, to Wesley. So Wesley told me, um, he preferred me to be in Denver to Mark gets off the drug and then we can go wherever we want. Well, I mean, I think I mean, to we're trying to make sure that Mark's clean off of it. We're trying to put the Liberty Village concept together. And I don't care whether I, I, I really don't care the opportunity to do it in, in South Dakota right now and Sturgis so that would be good for marketing that would be good for marketing because uh, we could have it up in time for bike week and the bikers would spread back around the country and take information and flyers and uh, uh, things with them about the campgrounds about the teepees about the yurts and about the good friggin food that we would have in the restaurants yeah yeah and uh, they pass that all over the country so so the only thing we need, all of us need right now, and, and what's happened to you, through and, and, and Edgar Steele, through the attorney, I believe Wesley Hoyt is a good man. We've he talked, is a good man. We've talked, and, and we've talked, and we've talked, and, and he understands what's going on. He understands that we ought to be invested. We, we have been, and this is my next article, we've been putting the wrong people in prisons. We've been arresting the wrong people. You know, right. what do you got in your son? What do you got in your pocket there, son? Uh, you know, how many millions of dollars did you steal from the American people, sir? You know, mm -hmm. I mean, we you want to put the guy in in prison for having a, a little bit of pot in his pocket and and mm -hmm. let the banker who who stole millions of dollars fly over to Israel and hide out. Come on, folks. This is, right. this, this is what's wrong, and, and what we've got to do is to get back to basics. we got to get back to... You know to, what? I'm sorry. Go you ahead, You know what Donna. we could do? What? We could ask people to donate and help out, help out with the situation here with um, 
my case, other cases, if they have any extra money to donate. And then when I get up and get my book going and get the money back and get scandal, you know, cheated on and get things back in my plate, I can help with other people. And that's what I intended to no, do. No, unless we do this. I, Unless we, I've got books for sale, and I and, and I don't. Uh, days go by, and I don't get a single order. I've got it up on the website. Wow. I've got to show up on the website. Somehow we're being blocked on the internet. Somehow either that, or they've yeah. broken the American people to the point that nobody's got any money anymore. And and well, they're either they've broken or they're scaring him from getting involved with anybody like us. Problem is more of us than them. We always remember that. There's more of us than them, okay? And if we don't do something, we're going to lose. We're going to lose. Now, I, gave, I didn't give up. What, you know, we never gave up. Hoping my son home, seeing him home, seeing him well. I never gave up even though it looked like death for him. I never see him again, and that's what they were planning. I seen him home, and it happened. And the same thing with everything else. See it done. See it done. See it done. Don't see it as being a defeat. See it as getting done and getting straightened out, just like Mark speaking at the Federal Drug Administration. We believed it. We seen it done that they're going to get those black labels on that drug. Okay? We seen it done. Donna. Now we want to see uh, the drugs gone. I'm seeing them gone, okay? And that's what I know with this. Gotta see a picture that's good, okay? And believe it and be positive and trust God. We've had, I've had doctors on the show, uh, including Ann Blake Tracy, that testified they cured themselves of cancer by, Absolutely. by simply changing their diet. If, if we grow oh. our own food, if we start growing our own food and, and get off this genetically modified crap that they're feeding us, the cancers will go down, the heart disease will go down, the diabetes will go down, we'll be healthy. And, and the, But the pharmaceutical companies won't make the money that they make right now off of your insurance, off of Social Security. They're milking Social Security. They're milking everything. You know, uh, 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 a ch big chunk comes out to go cover Medicare oh, oh, for prescription. Well, you need prescription coverage. No, I don't need any prescription coverage because I ain't uh -huh. taking your shit. I ain't taking your shit. But I, I, I'm, I'm one out of a hundred. Uh, right. 90, 99 people out there are eating that Valium, eating this other crap, and 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 trying mm -hmm. to and, and 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 just trying to do what the doctor orders. My wife, my ex-wife. Oh, Clay, the doctor saved you, saved your life. They charge you three quarters of a million dollars. They kept me drugged for three months for three broken ribs. How in the hell did Whoa. they save my life? How did they save my life? And and that's why I'm so curious. As that was three months in the hospital, three quarters of a million dollars for three broken ribs, that nobody showed up, nobody, nobody, uh, nobody did anything. I just want to make a statement too, because you're right about that. But you know what? Let's do make a statement. Let's do make a difference. Um, there was a doctor of European, V I R A P E N, who he used to work for the um, drug company. And you can pull him up on coast to coast. I spoke to him in person and I listened to him speak. And he said he got sick of the drug company um, drugging people just to get money. And they're, they think they're so big and they control everything and everybody. They stole everything he had. But you know what? Dr. Europeans said, I, he ain't given up. He's still exposing them, and he put his books out. He's not going to let them drag him down. Well, so people, don't let this drag you down. Get up and fight the fight. You need to even get involved and get on um, radio support. You know, um, radio still hosts here. You know, send in some donations to help him so he can get his work done. Help out my attorney, you know, Wesley Hoy. Help us out. You know, even if you can help us financially, and you want to get out there and expose. At least you're helping us so we can get our job done. You're right. And, and folks, I know I know what you're going through. Well, I just want to take care of myself. I just want to do this. But, you know, they've come for the patriots. they come for the tax protesters. They're coming for the veterans now. They've already came for the farmers. And, and mm -hmm. you're, you're a little more than a peon and a slave in a system that wants to keep you drugged, wants to keep you uh, distracted. 
want you to want to program your thinking with television. And there is a handful of us out there that won't be won't fall for that, won't fall into that. Edgar Steele was one of them. Wesley Hoyt is another yeah. one. I am one. And and yeah, I'm just one person. And yeah, I've been robbed. I've been I've had every gun, every weapon I hold, including my bows and arrows, stolen from me. I've had my computer stolen from me. I've had my trucks blown up. EMP. I mean, how else does a glow uh, a, a glow plug harness burst into flames when the truck's running. I mean, the glow, glow plugs don't even work. Right. So, so I've had, I've had, I've had all of this happen to me. But and and, and Donna, I don't mean to. You know, this isn't really meant to blow my own horn. But if I, you went to every every radio talk show, every every newspaper out there, and nobody would listen to you, nobody would help you. I have found uh, Wesley Hoyt for you. I introduced you to. If it had yes. if it hadn't been for this radio show, which may right. only go out, may only reach uh, uh, four hundred people right now at this moment. All of you 400 people out there that are watching this show, I'm sorry, 381, right. you you can do something. I have done this. I've stood up to him. I've stood up to him. I had Redditor Steele on my show, and then they put him in prison. I had Donna Taylor on my show, and then they kidnapped her son, Mark. You know? Absolutely. What? Absolutely. And let me tell you something. People, I went to every news, every place I could when Mark was locked up. And this is true. If I didn't get to Clay Douglas's place, Mark would not be here. I would ever have seen him again if I hadn't met Wesley through Clay Douglas. That is for sure. For sure. And I did everything in my power to get help out there, and nobody in Arizona would help me. No one. Folks, is that, is the governor's that, office, the Medicaid place, the attorney's places, the legal aid place. The, I mean, I made a trip to legal aid four or five times, and they never did nothing, nothing. And there was a place for the disabled that's supposed to help people that have been um, uh, criminalized or crooked, cr and the, the disabled place uh, wouldn't help. They bowed out. Okay? Nobody would do anything. Thank God for Wesley, he found this one attorney there in Arizona. I, I don't know why I didn't find her, because I went to so many, so many I went to, and it wasn't helping a lot. So. It, it, it ain't a good, uh, Edgar Steele can uh, tell you that working with somebody that the Jews don't like yeah. is dangerous for your career and for your health. Now, Edgar Steele helped the Christie family after their children were kidnapped by a Child Protective Services up in Oregon. He worked with uh, with the Aryan Nations with Richard Butler uh, when they tried to stage uh, something, and they ended up taking his property. They ended up taking the property of my friend down here in uh, Douglas, Arizona, Casey Nethercott. Mm -hmm. You know, Casey wanted to help me. Casey wanted to work with me, and they came in. They tried to kill him, and they stole his seventy-acre ranch down there on Douglas. Right. Okay. Yeah, now again, right. again uh, on the chat room, they're asking about uh, the, what kind of meds is Mark still on? Give you the, the name he's of it. He's on clozapine. Clozapine. Uh, and he's on, he was on 400 milligrams when he came back here, and now he's on 300. Now, mind you, when he came back here, I had a hard time getting hold of that doctor to even get a prescription for him weekly here. Because here, when they see you in, a, in the uh, emergency room, they can't, uh, it's so dangerous, the drug, they can't prescribe it from an emergency room. So they have to have the psychiatrist prescribe it, okay? And I was in big danger of Mark being onto withdrawals when I first brought him home. But thank God for Wesley, he set me up in Denver with the dentist doctors. So that doctor, that drug is very, very dangerous, as all of them are. Okay, Eric Harris was on the box. Okay, and Joe off before. And I believe that um, the other book was on, uh, they never said this, but Prozac. Because I had run across some friends that said he was on Prozac. And of course he acted like he was too. So, um, you know, we sued Eric Harris and to court. And in 
Well, it's the case. I mean, in a way, we won, we lost, but they were making fun of us. You know, by saying, oh, you won the case, here's $10,000 donated to the Breast Cancer Society. Well, I spent $130,000, and my attorney, he couldn't even stand up to get this done. He said he's never seen anything like it. They just ran and mowed him down. Well, the problem with that is the attorney that I have should have many more attorneys on the case because you want to hear something? When I went to court, when Mark uh, had to go to court with these drug companies, they had several attorneys there. As I recall, there were about six or seven sitting there, opposed to my one. How's that fair? You know, I, I mean, Edgar Steele is looking to spend the rest of his life in jail. In my book, Mystery Babylon, Donna, I've got the whole yeah. story about Operation Watchtower. This is this is the illegal drug dealing that's going on in our in our America. The CIA is is holding is bringing in the cocaine. Our troops are guarding the heroin. The heroin is being brought into this country through all the drug companies. Right. Uh, yeah, and, and they're saying, uh, of course, I, I, I got this I got this thing. The, the Mystery Babylon, folks, you can get it for 20 bucks right now at freeamerican.com. Send it to clay at freeamerican.com. Request Mystery Babylon in an email and, and send, it, uh, send a donation by PayPal. That's all we're doing. We're taking, uh, we're taking a do, uh, donations by PayPal. Wesley Hoyt. And it's free for Wesley Hoyt. Yes. You know, his, he would put his address up there too. And him. Uh, uh, people, this is this is something we got to do. And we need to spread the word out because people need to open up and wake up. It's a wake up call. Yes. If anything, if you buy his book and you read it, you can pass it on to someone else to read. That's right. That's right. That's yes. uh, the the. The books give you the whole history. Now, and it goes back thousands of years, folks. The the Bible told you about the mark of the beast, and today they've got commercials for it. Right. And, and you know what? You're exactly right. It's happening, and it's time for us to wake up and do something. Because I think we're all going to be accountable to God if we go. Knowing that this is happening. Well, there are, there are a, lot, a lot more people are going to meet him a lot quicker than they should. If they if Absolutely. they don't get together now now Absolutely. the answer the answer to this the books have, the books have got a lot of information about what's happening the answer to this is become self sufficient work together work together right. Donna, Donna we, you know we wouldn't have done this if we hadn't worked together and we found we found Wesley and we found the attorney here and and we and Wesley is now going up and working with Edgar Steele and Edgar Steele's family and Edgar Steele's wife Absolutely. So, so, you know. Folks, uh, oh, uh, you know, lawyers are the problem. Well, they a lot of the Masons no. are the law, are, are the no. problem, but the lawyers that know the system are the best warriors that we've got out there. That's why we need to support Wesley Hoyt. He's taking the, uh, yes. the cases for Donna. He's taking the case for Wesley, and and the his address and the information to donate for Donna is up on my website. You'll have to look a little while because it's move it's moved down. The it's it's there. We and if if you make a donation right now, or you buy in to Liberty Villages, you you know, Liberty Villages is designed not only to be self sufficient, not only to to generate income for the village and for your house or teepee or yurt or 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 you know, depending on how much work you want to do, you want to put a teepee up, it's only right. three thousand bucks. I've got distributorship for teepees, you know, but. Still got to get out there and, and hold that garden, you know, pull those weeds, water those plants. You know, that that takes a cooperation. That takes people working together. And, and that's the idea for a village instead of trying, you know, we used to have 15 kids uh, to uh, run around the farm and do the work. You know, that's, uh, they, yeah. they, they've, they've talked you out of that, you know, and, and talked you into abortion to limit the population. And, of course, uh, the... Uh, the, the the Social Security Medicare scam doesn't work real well if you live to be uh, 90 or 100, like my relatives did. You're right. And um, listen, here's something else I want people to look at. FreeMarkTaylor.org, and that way you can see Wesley Hoyt on there. 
go to Google and go to the higher search engine because it's hard to pop uh, attorney on there uh, unless you go to the higher search engine on Google and pull up freemarktaylor.org. And that way you can hear my attorney talk about Mark's case and you can see who he is. Yeah, we're talking about him, but you can see how he talks on film and what he what kind of a man he is in, on there. Yeah, one of my chat okay. rooms. One of my chat rooms. They uh, they uh, they they're talking about uh, by working together we can change the world overnight. And and Atisal says uh, to Sally he says that's what we do in my village in Thailand, folks. We're not just talking about America here. They don't call it the New World Order for nothing. Right here in America is where we have to stand up for the rest of the world and show them we can clean it up. Right now, we're the ugly America. Oh, why? Yeah. why? Because the government and the pharmaceutical companies and the oil companies are exploiting not only the American people, but the people all over the world. We can make a change. Right here. And I'm Amen. willing to do this. I'm willing to do this. I'm, tell, I'm showing you how. And we can do it non-violently. We don't have to pick up a gun and shoot nobody. We don't have to kill all the blacks. We don't have to kill all the Mexicans. We don't have to kill all the Jews. We can work all yeah. together. We can work together. If it's good for me and my children, then it should be good for you and your children. No matter what color, yeah. no matter what race we are, that's what the free Americans are about. Anything else you hear that I'm a racist, that I'm an anti-Semite, that I'm a kook, I'm a black helicopter guy, that's all bullshit to try to get you not to support me, not to send money here, not to not to listen to me, exactly. and not they to tell you. To you. Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course, that's what they, they did. They did to us. They did to Mark and I. That's right. They discredited us and made us look like fools. But you know what? The truth is always there. People just look. It's there. That's right. It's there. And, and you know, folks. I mean, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to sell you. And I got. I got some gold. I got some free things. I got some internet stuff up there. Those are. Uh, I've got generators. I've got stuff like that that you can buy and you can order. And I'll make a little bit of money down the line off of it. If you move check into a Liberty Village, I'll make a little bit of money if I sell you a teepee. But if I sell you a teepee for three thousand dollars or four thousand dollars, and you can live in that for for a year without paying interest on your mortgage, if you can grow your own food, if you can, if if that teepee or yurt or cabin will make money sitting there, would you sleep it inside it? If it'll make money. We'll put it in the lines and send it back to the power companies, and the power companies will start paying you. They will start working for you. We can we can make biodiesel. You can put a pipe around your your village with uh, uh, and and pump algae through it and make your own biodiesel. This is it, it. It it takes work, but it's better than being a slave in a factory. It's better than being a slave out there building the pyramids, hauling the blocks to uh, to immortalize, you know, one ruler. Yeah, yeah. Look, uh, you know, people are gonna, uh, you know, in, in the future, uh, four thousand years in the future, uh, yeah, people are gonna really remember the name of King Tut. Who gives a shit? You know, it's, it's the, it's they can make a difference now. You can make a difference now. Don't wait. Do it now. And folks, one of the ways you make a difference, order some of my books. I've got three books out. Mystery Babylon, Deadly Flashes of Silver, One Bloody Alabaster Eye. One Bloody Alabaster Eye, Deadly Flashes of Silver is fiction, supposedly. But it's based on... 40 years of research about what's going on behind the scenes, what's going on in the drug scene, who's selling us the drugs, who's putting us in prison for the drugs. We're putting the wrong people in jail, folks, and, and that has to turn around. Wesley believes that. Governor Gary Johnson believes that. Governor Jesse Ventura believes that we ought to abolish all the laws against victimless crime. We got to shut down the police state. They want to. They want to make everything illegal. They want to send. They want to make that garden in your backyard illegal, so they can send the the food police in to make sure your 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 carrots don't have any uh, any uh, you know uh, 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 bow weevils growing out of it or whatever. You know they want they want to inspect everything. They don't want. They don't think you've got the sense to take care of yourself. 
at least that's the way it appears, but in reality, it's an enslavement process. And same thing Adolf Hitler did. Same thing. That's only Adolf Hitler. Uh, well, Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Winston Churchill. Yeah. Hitler tried to bring the, uh, the, the German people out, and he got demonized for it. The Nazis got demonized for it. The Germans got demonized for it. But the Jews were the ones that declared war on the Germans with a full-page ad in the New York Times, folks. And it's the Jews that make the money are funding both sides of the wars, the Zionists. Not, not the little Jewish lady on the street, man. I don't care what religion you are. But if you're part of a one-world government plan, and, and you're a dual citizen, and your loyalty lies somewhere else in the United States, then you are a you are the real domestic terrorist. You're the real domestic enemies, and I intend to expose you. You're the ones that went after Edgar Steele, and it's your medical uh, doctors that uh, that uh, the pharmaceutical companies or one of the corporations that sprung up around the banks, and they're the ones that have targeted Donna and Mark Taylor. Well, they're on my list, too. Yeah, I'm making a list, and I'm checking it twice. I want to know if they've been naughty or nice. You know what? Uh, they even crucified Jesus. That's right. The same group. The, uh -huh. the same group. You know, that's, a, that's what we're facing, folks. You say you're a Christian. If you're a Judeo-Christian, you're saying I'm a satanic Christian. If you're uh -huh. a true Christian, then you need to understand who the Christ killers were, read your Bible, read the yeah. Liberty, read the Mystery Babylon, and understand that people just like me, and Donna, and Mark, and probably you, since I don't allow rabbis in my chat rooms, you, you've been given, you've been given a clue, you've been given an insight by the words of Jesus. And, and don't mean that your churches haven't sold you out to their 501c3 church. They can't talk about it, and they want you to think Israel is a promised land. No, America is a promised land. We can turn it into that. We can do that if we all work together. If you get out there and, and make a donation right now, right now, send 20 bucks to Clay at FreeAmerican.com, and by God, we can make some things happen. I'm Clay Douglas. Thank you. Donna, Donna's information yeah. is up on my website. You can send a donation to Donna through me, too. I will see that she... Would well, they like to talk to Mark later? I'll get in. Yeah, can yeah. you bring Mark up right now? Well, hold on. Let me go check while you're telling them where to send the donation. Uh, okay, we're, we're, okay we're, 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 we're out of time. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Well, we'll have that on, on a blog TV, hopefully. Hang on. Let's see. Okay, let me do this. We gotta stop that. Well, Mark's not feeling well, but he said next time you have a show, he'll come on. He said, I'm not feeling good from the pills again. Okay. Okay. We're thank you, we're everyone. Thank you for listening. All right. And let's do make a difference. Don't give up. Call recording has been completed. Okay. All right, Clay. All right, darling. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. I appreciate you being on with me. We'll yeah, we're gonna, we need to keep doing these on a regular basis. Just when we can't mark on that, it might really wake up things. I, 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 you tell Mark, uh, we'll, I'll book him for next week. All right. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.